Peaceful and calm in the bright warm sunshine of a summer's morning. The ivy clad ruins of East Somerton Church. Who would think there'd be anything going on in a quiet place like this? But the locals tell tales of strange goings on, things happening in the dark of the night. Well, good evening, Nigel. Good uh, evening. Here we are again, out and about. This time we're out with our friends from the Spirit Norwich team. We've come out to St Mary's Church at East Somerton, ruined old church, dating from medieval times. Went into disuse in, they think, the 17th century, which would be like the 1600s. Um, there's a local story saying that there's a witch buried here with a wooden leg, and the tree growing in the middle of the church is grown from her leg. They call it the witch's finger or the witch's tree. We're going to have a sort of wander about in here, see what we can find, and later on we're going to go down the path towards Burnley Hall and see if there's anything down that way. So for now, we're off to the church, see what we can find. The psychics are all drawn to the tree in the centre of the church. It feels strangely calm, so Jules from the Spirit Norwich team decide to do a prayer of protection around it, just to make sure that everyone's safe. I ask our Phil how he feels afterwards. Phil, that van. What'd you get there then? Obviously, it's when we were at Blickley, I didn't really feel what everyone was going on about, and I saw people go. But um, you, you do feel. I don't know whether. I mean, I, me as myself, I put it towards the way your heart beats and the way that your veins move and blood moves around there. Maybe, maybe in that. But I did actually feel. When Jules had said, where well, this, this light and this energy, it was, um, <laughs> the hairs at the back of my neck went off on end. So, I don't know, maybe is it dark because it's dark and I don't know. I'm interested in it. I don't know. But it's, um, it's a nice feeling. Still, still now it's quite, quite a nice feeling. Yeah, so, right. I don't know whether it's real or there's a van going around at the moment. It's going to be a bit of creaks. <laughs> yeah, it's not so good, is it? You don't know what it is. Um, but I'm interested to see what actually happens tonight. Okay. It's quite a nice place. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? All right, cheers, mate. We start to get our kit ready. Find our bearings in the dark. Our sensitives start to tune in. Some of us are apprehensive. Whilst others are just quietly calm patiently waiting to see what we can pick up on the night. Time to introduce the teams. So you know who we are. My name is Jules. There's Tracy. There's also Nigel and Phil. And we've got Jono, Dave, Ricky and Kelly. And we're all here to find out more about you. Maybe get a message from you. Help you. First of all, what we need to do is find out if you're here. So can you do something to let us know that you are here with us? <laughs> oh, I can't Just something in here, did it? Sorry? Just something in here? Oh, yeah, I was standing up there. It could just be because I've, ever since I've been in here, I've got an unstable sort of feeling. Tracy's experience as well. It feels as though the ground's uneven, but it's not. No, it's fairly flat in here, yeah. Um, so that, and I think the staring into the, the darkness, and it just felt, felt suddenly as though there was no air. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll just step back from it, sorry. I'm right now. So I'm going to go back to where I felt it. Okay. 
See what else is there. Okay, one of the ideas we had was to send members off by themselves, wandering around the outside of the church. Maybe just an EMF meter and a torch to keep them company. And Phil's gone off in my line <laughs> with my mail meter and his camera, so we saw what he gets. Bloody moths. Further than it does, but it's not a little pathway just to the um, to the right of the entrance of the church. Oh, it does go further. You get moths coming at me. All I've got in front of me. Me, boy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> boy, not me out of Where'd you suddenly come from? <laughs> I've just been around there and I thought that you were following me. No, I wasn't. I stayed here. I heard, falling, falling back I heard that like twigs behind me. Did you? Yeah, but I thought it was Nigel sneaking behind me with the camera. <laughs> I went down to the other side of that. I heard someone talking in there. We've been there talking. Yeah. Okay, just stepped outside the church for a bit. The guys from Spirit are setting up their Ouija board in there. They're going to do a seance and see what they can pick up. I'm going to film it and record, see if we pick anything up in the background. I'm not sure if our guys are going to join or not. What do you reckon? I've got, yeah, I might do. Hmm. I've not done it before, and obviously, because it's um, cause Jules has made it herself and she's put all her good stuff into it. Uh, with any luck, we'll be all right. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll I'm go. quite apprehensive, but... I don't know whether to just sit it and watch first of all. Excuse me eating on the camera. Oh, that's no problem. Ouija boards. Introduced commercially by a certain Elijah Bond in 1890 and sold as a harmless parlour game. In 1901, William Ford took over production of the boards and coined the name Ouija. Ouija boards are still on sale today, with Hasbro currently holding the patent for them. Christian groups are against the use of the boards. They say they're a tool of Satan and can open a portal that will allow evil spirits to come through into our world. Ouija consists of a board marked with the letters of the alphabet, numbers 0 to 9, yes and no, and sometimes hello and goodbye. Participants place their fingers onto a planchette or another movable indicator, the object being that the spirits will move this towards the letters to spell out the message that they want you to receive. But be careful, and don't take your fingers off the planchette. Scientists claim that the Ouija board is a hoax, and put the movement down to something called ideomotor response, involuntary movements produced by the subconscious mind and transmitted to your fingers. It's not spirits, it's just all in your mind. Dangerous portal or mind tricks, you decide. Left hand on the table. Uh, 
Feel ready and we're all comfortable to do this. Yeah. yeah. Turn our hands up to touch. Sorry? Turn our hands up to touch. Yeah, so keep the energy on. Okay. First index finger. We're going to do an opening. Mm -hmm. We're going to so we'll get the energy very close. Um, whatever happens throughout this, please don't take your fingers off. Um, and we also need to make sure that we don't allow the glass to tip. I'm going to ask our guides and our guardian angels to step forward again and just offer each and every person here a little bit of extra protection as we're using the Ouija board. I'm asking only for those spirits who work in the light to come forward. Any spirit who means there's any harm is not welcome here. Are there are any spirits here who wish to communicate with us, can you please try and do so now by moving this glass? We've been picking up on a male presence here this evening. Is that gentleman still with us? Oh, that could just be us. Mm -hmm. Just tiny little involuntary movements we're going to be able to Yeah. Right. I'm just going to quickly show you around the ball, okay? So keep your fingers on the glass and just allow me to gently move it around. To any spirits wishing to communicate with us, I'm now going to just show you the symbols on the board, just to make sure that you know what they are. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We'd like you to move back to the centre, this black spot here, if you have shown us a letter at all, just so that we get definition. We also have two words on the board, the word yes and the word no. And we've got the alphabet starting with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. I'm sure you do know your <coughs> alphabet, but just so that you can recognise the symbols which I have drawn on this board. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <laughs> One, zero. One, two, three, four. Zero, four. Okay, was that a spirit who now moved that glass for us? Okay. Um, Are there four of you here? Take it back to the centre. Are there four of you here? No. And we've all got very light tipped fingers. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, so back to, could you move the glass back to the centre for us, please? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we'll move the glass back then. Right. Stand up, I can't believe you should have got your arms. Had your arms? <laughs> yeah, your arms. Okay, so oh, we've got an N. Is there anything else that you'd like to point to for us? Can you move the glass back to the centre of the board for us, please? <coughs> What often happens with this board, doesn't it? Mm. Random movements. Mm. Mm. I'm just getting the film for it. To me it feels as if it wants to go off. Well, you can't. Sorry, you have to stay on the board. I'm going to move it back to the centre. Yeah, my arms are weak. I'll move it that way. Then. That's right. Okay. So you're helping us move the glass now. Can you try and communicate with us, please? Try and tell us what your name is. Can you tell us your surname? Or can you take us to the first letter of your surname? Are you still here with us? I'm not feeling anything. You're still here with us? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Energy building. This mm. is good. Okay, we're happy for you to do this build up some energy. Oh. 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 
No. <laughs> was it K? N. N. N again. O. I know. No. no. <laughs> okay. Can you take us to the first letter of your surname, please? B. B. Oh, are you the captain? Not a bird's eye, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I was going to spell it out then. Yes. Yes. No way. <laughs> bird's eye. Oh my god. And everybody's got really light fingers, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah honestly. What's their angle? I'm not even barely touching it. Oh, lost it then. Cool. Yeah, I oh, spun. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. No. no. Not hello. No. What? What? Are you, what? Are you trying to tell us? L. O. N. One. Okay. What's the next letter, please? H. 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 M. Mm. Random letters. Yeah. Okay, can you take the glass back to the centre? No, no, no. no. They're not okay. random letters. They're not random letters? So what was that? L O L O N H. H. Hum. Mm. Hum. Mm. No. no. Okay. Try again. It's okay. So L. L. Well done. Oh. Yep. Next letter, please. Next letter, please. O. o. Thank you. N. N. Thank you. D. D. London. London. O. London. London. Is London. Right? London. Is London correct? Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so what so is it's signal? Captain Bird from London. Because I, when I was walking down, I said it wasn't Captain Bird's eye, it was Bird. Captain Bird. <coughs> From London. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, thank okay. you and welcome. Yes, we're, you're very welcome here. Obviously, actually, it's us who's hopefully welcome because this is where you live anyway. Is this actually where you? Oh, can you take the glass back to the centre of the board, please? Can you move the glass back to the centre of the board for us, please, Captain Bird? I think we're going to be doing this a bit, aren't we? Yeah. Up there, up there. <laughs> Right, I'm going to move the glass back. Okay. Right. Can you give us a date of when you lived, when, no, when you were born? What year were you born, Captain Bird? You still with us? Thank you. Yes. Four. Four. Fourteen. Three. Fourteen thirty-four. Fourteen thirty-four. Is that the correct year of your birth? Yeah. Lovely. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you very much. It's a shame we can't have like an open dialogue with them, isn't it? Like, what's it like to be in hmm, blah blah blah? Was you born in London? Were you born in London? And for the rest of the session, it goes very quiet. We get a few more random letters, and not a lot else. With nothing else going on, we decide to call it a night. So the things you experienced on the night. Some of the psychics were claiming that the, the ground was uneven and it made them feel sick, sort of seasick, like it was moving. It's fairly flat in here. There's a little bit of unevenness, but not so much that it would make you think that you were like swaying from side to side. They didn't get a bad feeling on the night. It seemed sort of quite calm. A few of them complained that they were getting head pains and pressure on their head, but you often get this sort of thing when they're concentrating quite hard, so it's not out of the ordinary really. You're always going to get to hear noises 
sounds of things crashing in the woods behind you and when you're moving about the sound of breaking twigs underfoot add that to the atmosphere of sort of creepiness in the dark and your mind can play all sorts of tricks on you as you can see in the footage of Phil when we sent him off on his own with a camera to film himself wandering around the outside of the church and what of the energy felt on the night by the psychics around this grand old tree well, he's been here many a year, pulling the energy up from the ground, putting it into the air. It's not surprising they felt so calm around him. After all, he's a grand old tree. So what of the story of the witch's tree? Rumour has it that the tree's grown from a wooden leg of a witch that's buried here. But why would you bury a witch in a church? It's all a very strange story indeed. Now this old church fell out of use in the mid 1600s, probably after the Commonwealth and Oliver Cromwell took over after the Civil War. And we all know that Matthew Hopkins, the Witchfinder General, rampaged up and down the East Coast and he did hang a number of witches in the Great Yarmouth area. I've looked through the archives and read up and I cannot find any link whatsoever to a local witch, Matthew Hopkins, and somebody being buried in this church. So it just seems like it's another one of those old wives towers so common out here in the country. But it all adds to the history of the place, and that's no bad thing. And what of the Ouija board and the stories that that told? Well, we didn't really get very much. We got a name, Jules came up with the name, Captain Bird's Eye, Captain Bird. And you've seen from the records that a Captain Bird did actually own this land. But the rest of it was garbled somewhat complicated and difficult to pick the bones out of. I've done a bit of research and couldn't link any of it at all to any of the history of this place. We got the name, we didn't get a lot else, but it was interesting to try. So what of the tales that locals tell? Strange symbols scraped into dirt on the church floor, the bodies of sacrificed animals. Are there some strange rituals going on here after darkness falls? Black magic summoning demons from the pits of hell. Who knows? Would you want to be here in the dark when they're doing that sort of thing? Good night everybody. Sleep well. Until next time, out there paranormal TV. Good night.